<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to the second part where I will try to fix the second switch. As, as I spoke last time, um, uh, this switch has a short on, on this uh, capacitor, as you see. All the other uh, parts seem to be okay. Yeah. Some 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 capacitors are difficult to to identify. If I would take out the battery, as you saw, these these capacitors show shorts. But if you take the battery out, they disappear in some time. Uh, for the capacitors, maybe discharge here. As you see, this uh, this short disappeared disappeared. The other ones, same. Uh, but if you plug in the battery, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it stays with the oh no, yeah, it has some some shorts. Uh, not sure if it's normal uh, working order or no. I will need to re recheck it with with a working switch. But yeah, I, I do have a suspicion that this chip will need to be exchanged too. As I saw in some videos, it is a very difficult uh, exchange, as, as this plastic um, ribbon cable holder is uh, next to, to, to this chip. And if you use a captain tape or, or something similar to shield it out, it's a very difficult uh, uh, operation still, because the captain tape doesn't, uh, doesn't, doesn't uh, save uh, uh, the plastic from heat as, as, it, sh as it should. That's why I had to wait a few weeks to get this thing. Uh, this is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it is used in, in uh, jewelry uh, branch. And as, it's, as you can see, it can withstand up to 4000 degrees. And it's a uh, paste base uh, something. <laughs> that you can uh, you can uh, put on on this kind of chip and yeah hopefully i will be able to if i will need to re replace it i will try to put uh, uh, this paste on on this, this chip and uh, yeah try to save it from from being destroyed so yeah that's that's was was my new purchase as <clears throat> as always uh, uh, you could buy 120 grams or something for for 10 euros something with with shipping but 250 was three four euros more so yeah of course <laughs> let's take more <laughs> not sure when i will be able to use it out all but <clears throat> okay modern economics works so uh okay yeah as as indicated we have a short on on this capacitor that usually indicates that uh oh, okay how is it? Let's take out the battery. Uh, that uh, indicates that uh, we have a short on the video chip that's on the back side of this this board. And yeah, let's. I will. I will. I will open. Uh, take out the board. And yeah, let's try to exchange the chip so i will take out the board and and see you in a minute we have our main board out quite an easy task now okay let's put this somewhere safe and now what we have so this is the chip that goes into the question when this kind of short is there let's try to fix this board more or less so and yeah i checked uh shortly the, the possible shorts on one here and as we can see yeah uh, we have some short on here so we will try to exchange this chip and see if the short goes out on this uh, capacitor on the, on the other side. 
and uh, I read in some comments that when this uh, chip goes bad, usually this uh, part goes bad too. And yeah, this is the this is the case. Uh, as you can see, um, if I will test this element, as here it goes through, here it goes nothing, here it goes through, here it goes nothing. And in this one, we have here we have nothing. And here it goes through so yeah this element is it seems to be bad too but let's try first uh, to replace this chip or remove this chip and then we'll see about the next steps so I have my tools here I prepared the chip as it needs to be placed it has a little dot uh, on, on it that indicates the direction of the chip. It is, this dot is in here, and arrows uh, usually indicate the placement of, of the chip to of, of this uh, dot. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, power up the heat gun. I usually put it at 400 degrees and, and uh, lowest airflow as uh, possible. Uh, let's preheat the board more or less. Not to get with the whole heat all at once. I have my flux right here. Let's 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 uh, preheat it a little bit, and then I will apply uh, flux on, on the chip. Yeah, I love like like this chip. Uh, I already tried to replace it on a, one other board, and it looked quite an easy job. So let's wait for it, wait for it to cool down, and let's see if shorts on this uh, this capacitor disappear disappear. Too hot, and yeah, if if it disappears, then uh, it's very interesting. What about this element? Uh, is it burnt and needs to be replaced, or 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 yeah, does it regain its its uh, possibilities? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I still need to check what what this element does. It should be some optocoupler or or something like this.
Okay, so the short is gone on the capacitor. And let's check this element. Okay, yeah, seems that this element needs to be replaced too. To get this switch running. And then, yeah, let's, let's see if we can, oh, let's not bend it. If the short is gone or, or if nothing else popped up. Okay, this. Yeah, as you can see, short on this capacitor is gone too. Wonderful. And here, yes, nothing, nothing new here. But let's see what will happen when when we will plug in the charger. Just connected uh, the charger, to, uh, the battery to the board, and connected the charger. And as you can see, it charges with full 1.4 amperage. That seems to be uh, a good fix. Uh, but yeah, I will charge up a little bit the battery, and then I will plug all all the connections to the board to see. If uh, yeah, if if the screen works, if no, then we will need to replace this one element and uh, see if uh, we will have a working switch with with this uh, this fix. Yeah, so it seems that this chip, uh, these two chips are fine, or let's say at at, the, at this moment uh, for charging, they uh, seem to be fine. And yeah, well, let's see how it goes further on. I have <coughs> assembled all the all the uh, connectors uh, and and uh, plugged the battery in. So let's see if we can see something or or do we need to exchange this element. Hey, okay, screen turns on. I was hoping to see some errors or nothing at all, but wow. Okay, that's it. So this this switch. Okay, then it's still interesting how or why why uh, oh, what we uh, why do we need uh, this this one element uh, that we saw uh, is not 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 uh, as um, doesn't work as as it should. Uh, it has one one. Uh, shorted out uh, one shorted out uh, channel so uh, yeah if you have a clue uh, then please let me know uh, what this element does and and uh, why is it needed because as we see even with this bad element for now this switch works so I will need to ch oh, okay yeah maybe maybe for docking station it will have some problems. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's why uh, I don't have right now uh, a docking station, but uh, I'm planning to get it uh, soon. So maybe I don't. I will not fully assemble it. Uh, just few screws to hold everything in place, and then uh, when the docking station will be there, I will need to check this switch with the docking station and see maybe this uh, part is responsible for for. Uh, docking station and and showing video into it okay so stay tuned for for the follow-up